bloody good show. Morning boys and girls. It's raining, isn't it? The weather has suddenly changed to winter or damn it. Good. <laughs> what good? Oh, it's not. I'm sick of it already. I've only just it's started. Not, but it's bad. Oh, God. Because I hate the wall. Yeah, I don't. I like the wall. Better than this. Right, I'm going to go to Scottish Yard this morning. He's got a problem with his forklift. Again! But not the same problem. And it's not the forklift with the hub. He's going to get wire and pumps for that JCB one. Seatbelt's uh, on. Seatbelt's on. Health and safety first. Safe, safe, safe. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and see. I don't know what's up with this other forklift, so we'll go and have a look. Uh, and we'll uh, go to Partick first, go and get an extension for his torque wrench. Passport no, no return, baby, on the summer night. The shy love and the sparkle left to be. We're going to go for a McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to, because we're going past it. And we are jelling. Somebody's ringing me. Oh, somebody's Jackie I'll Chan. On Yo. It's got a Macadese in it. <laughs> Come on. Jackie Chan, that is. Is Charlie Bobson still there? No. Nope. Just the Chan, not the Bobson. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> what was that? No, thank you. That's all right. No, thank you. <laughs> So will this not start then or what? Oh, I'm gonna get a wet bump now, aren't I? So what's up this then? I don't really know, it looks like a piston. No drive. Got no drive like me. So what do you reckon, Arch? Yeah. And we have had this light flashing for a bit though, haven't we? This red light. Yeah, the one that's in the oil. Yeah, but we have checked the oil, but it, it has been. But I don't think that's going to do it because, as I say, it's been doing that for ages. Let's get this back up then. Hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. I think it's not going anywhere then, Bob. No, it's no drive. No drive. No drive. Let's whip this off, Arch, because I think, oh, I think the gearbox is under here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, come this time tomorrow, reckon I don't know where I'll be. But if it wasn't for that old sheriff... There's nothing wrong with that. Water in it. No, it's not right, it's a ferret. Is that a You did see him, is that a Hello, Bosh! <laughs> Hello! Archie just said, I'm sure I see that rat thing, that ferret. Ah, oh, the famous ferret is still alive, look. Here's Chavez, look. Chavez the ferret. Oh, you give him some sandwiches? Ah. Oh. He cleaned his water bowl, that? Yeah. Yeah, he's got his dinner. Yeah, so this has got no drive, obviously. It's going into gear because it's going in reverse. And all the fluids are all right. Archie's on Chavez the ferret duty, aren't you, Archie? Looking out for Chavez the ferret. Oh, Archie's holding Chavez. <laughs> That's it. He's after some food, isn't he? Yeah, it's like you talk about it. You, you sometimes it moves and you're up to you can get it moving, you know what I mean? Well, when it was going full tank? Yeah. Touch it with short, just push it a bit and it go like, uh, Oh, and it'd be alright for a bit? Yeah, until you stopped again. Then. Well, and it won't get going again. Yeah. It's alright, we kept the engine running, then you stop the engine and start the new drive. No. 
And I've done that sweep all the time, haven't you? Yeah, when they put the thing down, it's hard work for them. Yeah, so it's pushing it all, all the time, time yeah. As Rob said, this little forklift, it's pushing all the time. They use it for sweeping up, you see. So it's pushing all the time. So I wonder if it is something that's up with a, with a torque converter. Oh, one more now, that did well. All the best drivers past second time. That's good, Will, that, isn't it? You'll be cruising now, then, at night, won't you? Yeah, we went some film last night, it'd be nice. I'll put that back on, that filter. You can't really see it, can you? I doubt it'll be the filter, not completely bumped. It's a bit of a rarity. a noise or it'll like be jolting and juddering. I mean, I don't really know what the symptoms was beforehand, whether it's been jolted and that, or whether it just stopped. But the sound of it, Rob just said it started getting bad where we had to like, push it to start it off. So by the sound of it, it was slowly getting worse, and now obviously it stopped completely. So it does sound like torque converter, but it's just a bit... It just broke me off a bit because it doesn't move at all. I think what I'm going to have to do is change that transmission fluid because that transmission fluid has probably never been changed in its life and it's seen some thrashing on it, for the looks of it, and see whether it does move a little bit after that. Well, I'll have to get some fluid for this. I'm going to have a look, a look at a steam cleaner now, just quickly. I'm going to have to fill it up with water, won't I? Do you reckon that's been warm, though? It's like engine oil. We'll have to go to the farm shop down there, won't we? with that lot, that's nice isn't it? I've just learned that little trick. You know that, that's for the forward and reverse. That gets its supply from the gears and it goes there. I've just looked at a YouTube channel, Forklift Geek, and he's powered one up. He had the similar problem but his, his was working in reverse but not in forward gear. And he powered one of these up, powered the yellow one up, uh, and then it went forward. So I'm going to do that, and then that rules that relays, done it, and that, and fuses, and all that. So I'm going to go direct to there with the power and see whether it goes forward. I'm just going to put that power, I've got power there, look. So I'm just going to put that onto that yellow one there. Just see whether it engages the gear. Watch out. Yeah, look at that. Going up. It's electrical, Rob. Yeah. Well, I've just powered up that. That's the forwards and backwards, something like that. It goes from yeah. there into the gearbox to select the gear. And obviously, it's it's, it's going. So it's electrical. Yeah, it might be a relay or something. At least we know it's nothing mechanical. Obviously, it goes forwards. It goes backwards now. 
It needed an oil change anyway, Rob. <laughs> well, no, so we're at last out. No. We just went for the worst case scenario straight away, as you do. Yeah. As you said, it has that much abuse on it, you, you think the worst, don't you, straight away? Right, so there should be some relays somewhere. No. What you'd have thought if forward and reverse has gone? Yeah. It wouldn't be a snap wire, would it? Because obviously the two different wires. Yeah, only one would work and one wouldn't. Yeah, one would work and one wouldn't. So it's more like to be a relay, isn't it? Yeah. It was in the fucking switch. Yeah, but the switch going in reverse, isn't it? You can hear it going yeah, in reverse. Yeah. So, All right, I don't know, just cut this and see if it still beats. But we still don't know where the reverse takes its feed from, do we? The reverse might take its feed from here. The bleeper might work, but the reverse might work. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. The bleeper might be sending us off course. Well, I'll just start at the beginning. I'll cut this panel off here, and I'll test the power that's coming out of the switch, making yeah. sure it's got power going out of the switch. So once we know it's got power going out of the switch, then I can trace it down, can't I? Because it's that big loop. What about if I power it up from here and see whether it goes forward or backwards? Alright, shall we strike her up? Yeah. Yeah, what I've just done there is put a split pin in there and then powered it up on the red and blue one, which is reverse, and the white and blue one, which is forward, and it's worked. So, Nothing left to this fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, why is it going in reverse when you put it in reverse? The, the buzzer's coming on. Is it losing a power to that? Yeah. But why is it switching when you fuck? Why is it going in reverse when you put the ignition on? <laughs> going to reverse feed, isn't it? From the switch. That's how your office switch turns out. On yeah, I wonder if the beeper is actually in one of these and one of them's working, but all the rest of them aren't then. That white and, oh, that's white and black. Mm. What's that? Red and yellow. There's the white and black, and there's the red and yeah. yellow. So yeah, it gets its feed from there, obviously. Yeah. So the reverse the buzzer gets its feed from that switch. So that switch, is obviously powering up the reversing buzzer, but it's not powering up the forwards and backwards on it for some unknown reason. A bit weird, Rob, isn't it? I don't know, I wonder how it is because we need to know it is that before we get it, obviously. But right, I'll whip down. Let's open it up then, Robert. Yeah, no box. <laughs> Oh no, we're alright. Simple stand, isn't it? Yeah, they're just the contacts to it. Well, that's the best way of doing it, isn't it? Power it up, plug it in now. Pushing them down. Test light, yeah, push them down. Test light, yeah. Right, so that one goes down and that one goes down. So neutral, that one's down and all the rest are up. Them two are down and all the rest are up. Into it, that's for the reversing buzzer. That's the only thing that works, obviously. On it, I've just powered up these ones that go down because this one goes down with the reverse, and that one that one's got no power going to it. I've just powered it up, goes in reverse. These two go down when you press forward, nothing happens, but I've just powered them up and then it, it goes forward. So, somewhere in this switch, it's lost its life to that there. We could like put a power to it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
we could just put power to it, couldn't we? Yeah. And we've have got to, the right, because there's the the power wheel. going off this lot all the time. Bridges, so yeah. I could just bridge it from there to that one. Let's bridge it. We found the problem though, lad. We just need to nip screw fix now, go and get a soldering iron. Come on, mine. Look at that, tenner. I just said it, it's not sticking very well to this solder, but Rob says, look, you've got to warm up. All right, we'll do it on this one, Rob. Shall we'll I stick with this on you? Yeah, we'll do that, all right. Let it run. What will happen now is when, when the copper heats up, it'll stick, it'll stick together. You see it running. Once the, once the solder's stuck to the copper then, then you stick... And then you stick the, your, your wire to the solder? Yeah. Yeah, because then it dropped yeah. onto the yeah. copper. Yeah. Yeah, it's running rough now. Yeah, yeah. Take that off, take that off, set. Yeah, put it on, put it on, let that run, and then run into the other one. Put some pressure on it, put it down on. Yeah, it's all right now. See, beautiful. Lovely little job. Now, I had, I'd just blood that on like that, and it fucking fell off straight away. Good way of doing it, Rob, well done. All right, Rob, let's try it. Back on it, protect it. Beautiful little job. Let's put it back together. Right, right, straight this up now. Try it. You can be the test pilot. Ha! Arch is the test pilot. You gotta put it down off these logs first. Yeah! Pushed a little though. If you've got a problem with your forklift, you know who to call. Bio Busters! <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of way. Come on then, let's go. While I'm here. Right, Arch Allen, let's get off home. Right, boys, we're done now, aren't we? Aren't we, Arch? Yeah, we are. We're done. Let's get off home, Arch. Let's go. Right, boys and girls, we're done. Yep. That was called the the uh, forklift struggle again, wasn't it? I still need to get a hub and all for that thing and all. Right, you guys, see you later. Catch you on the next later. one.